Hello and welcome to D5 Weekly. Each week we will discuss varying topics about health, fitness, sport, and general life. Find out what's next after the break. Today's topic is about the importance of sticking to one program, coach, or gym. Now there are many reasons why we should do this, but we're gonna to stick to three simple reasons. The first reason is that it increases results. One program is meant to work with one program. It's not meant to work with two or three different ones or fun Instagram workouts. One program builds on itself slowly and increases the results over time. The second reason is it decreases injury. Overuse injuries are very common amongst all athletes. But when mixing multiple programs, it's even more common. You never know what's gonna happen the next day on your program B or your program C. You're following your gym, and then you go home and do something different. The next day, your gym might do the exact same thing you did at home. The third reason is it builds mental toughness and real life commitment. It's difficult to follow one program. Sometimes it gets boring, sometimes it gets hard. But sticking to that one program is gonna build more than just your health and fitness or your strength and endurance. People bounce around from program to program for a number of reasons, but again, we're gonna to stick to three main reasons. The first reason is that it's too hard or they don't get the immediate gratification that they want. Good programming builds on itself slowly. It starts with a foundation and goes from there. You're never going to find a program that's gonna take you from the couch to being a professional athlete overnight. You're never going to find a program that's gonna take you from the couch to being a professional athlete in a year. That takes time. Good programs build slowly, not just for fun, because that's not fun, but for the longevity of the athlete. You will find many athletes through high school and college that get burned out and quit. Nobody wants that to happen. So building slowly and not overdoing it is very important. The second reason many people like to switch programs or coaches is because they don't like the workouts or their workouts don't look like, insert famous person name, Instagram workouts. My workouts should look very different than Cristiano Ronaldo's. Your workouts, probably, should look different than Matt Frazier's. Your workouts should be tailored to you and your goals. Famous athletes are great to look up to, great to follow, and great to get some wisdom from. But if they could reach down to you and tell you, they're all gonna say the same thing. I didn't get here overnight. The third reason people switch programs is because of boredom. Not boredom necessarily in the gym or in the pool or on the track, but boredom outside of that. The rest of the day, they don't know what to do with themselves, so they think, hmm, let's scroll through Instagram. They see that person that we talked about in the previous section, and they try to do that workout. Instead, I encourage you to find a hobby. Start reading more. Play golf. Learn a new sport. Read more. I already said that. Whatever it is, find something for you that gives you some deload from training, but also stimulates you to where you're not looking for the next thing to do all the time. Well, that does it for this week. Join us next week as we go over a completely separate topic. Make sure that you like and subscribe so that you know when that video comes out and you can join us then and continue to learn. Until then, this is D5 Weekly.